Texas Battle League, make some noise. Yeah. What's good with it? It's the Kid XP in the building. We here in Corpus Christi, Texas at Disco Round Records. Tonight, we have a very heated battle going down. Michael White versus Michael White. Make some noise, y'all. Yeah. I got 20 on Michael White, dog. <laughs> to my right, give it up one time for Michael White. Representing Woo! Corpus Christi, yeah. Texas. Michael White, the boy who blocked his own shot. Money over bitches, God over everything. R.I.P. Flatline, monster grinding. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to my left. Okay. Michael White, fucking right. Representing Corpus Christi, Texas. Money over bitches, God over everything. R.I.P. Flatline. Monster grinding. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Michael White won the coin toss. He elected to go first. We're going to get right into it. First round, Michael White. I know everything about you, bitch. He, you already lost. I remember down there everything about you since you were five. Like that time, your mom took you from your pops. And when you would cry and try to ask questions about why she did it, she would just say, stop, and then drop you off at the babysitters. Like, here's his front roll-ups. Here's his riddling. If he tends to get a little too hyper, just give it to him. <laughs> and, you wouldn't sleep, you would just lay crying. If she had to work a double and couldn't pick you up the same night. And to save money in the daytime, you got dropped off at the Boys and Girls Club. But you only went when you didn't have school, so you hated the summertime. <laughs> because going to the Boys and Girls Club in 94, it was war for any white kid who had his mother's eyes. You've been bullied your whole life. When someone bigger started whooping your ass, you would just stand there letting him do it because you couldn't fight. Everybody in the classroom made fun of you because your last name was White. And you are the boy version of Carrie White. The only difference is uh, Carrie Striped. Your balls is small. I am surprised. I had a fuck you get away with that lie about your dick size when you were half an inch shy away from it being eight inches. But when you pull down your britches in front of bitches, you still manage to get them to believe you when you tell them it's nine. How long did you think that would work? Hmm. Let's see, after a year, you got divorced. No wonder you couldn't keep a wife. Ooh. No wonder your baby mama got with a girl. No wonder your first love didn't want to continue being her boyfriend after you lost your virginity because you couldn't lay the pipe. If you were a plumber, you would get fired every night. Damn. If Earth was a huge vagina and you were a meteorite coming full speed ahead, news reporters would not talk about it or warn anybody that night. <laughs> you fucking suck at life. <laughs> you should have stuck with your stuff. Donatello, they got caught fucking at one time. Your mom's walked in on you goosing after coming home from your first day of junior high. Which was your actual first time losing your virginity if you count objects, your first love will be considered your thousandth time. Nobody fucking loves you. When your mama married your stepdad, you were finally financially stable, but still living a miserable life. Listening to him yell every night, telling your moms, you need to send your white trash ass son back to his white trash ass father in Pensacola. And you would just stand there in your bedroom with your ear against the door, holding on to your Nintendo controller. Or in the projects, hanging out with your friends every day, begging people to let you sleep over. And you lived in Bear Creek. But when you found out 17 was the legal adult age in Texas, you started living in the streets because homeless people were the only people who made you feel important enough to breathe. You've been suicidal since you were 16. You almost let a car run you over on the way to work. Your first job was Mickey D's. And now you're 27 selling CDs. But whenever you want to stop selling CDs, all you got to do is go back to that same McDonald's and they'll put you back on the team. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote your first rhyme at 11 and started performing at 13. And now you're about to turn 28 and being a rapper is still your dream. 
barely getting by, paying rent on an efficiency and a car note. You are the only person I know who is homeless once a year. Living in your car is your destiny. Was it really worth running away from home at 17? You remember that day you were so desperate for food, you let a gay dude touch your dick, but with his hands over your pants, just so you can have $15 to eat? Was it really that stressful back at home living with your peaks? Check it. You blame your rhyme style on your lifestyle, and when someone calls it a gimmick, you tell them it's just because they don't get it. And when daylight beat your style, you were secretly excited that he did it. And when Alchemist tweeted about watching your battles, you made a post about it, only referring to him as Eminem's DJ, because you don't know shit about him. And when someone doubts him, he says it's because of jealousy and hate, because he's been in the game 14 years, and he still gets clowned on for being the kid who got booed off stage every Friday at City Skates. You are the number one rapper Corpus Christi hates. And you still rep Corpus Christi because you think only the fakes don't fuck with you and the real motherfuckers relate. Wait, one more thing. This motherfucker here left the price tag on the mirror so he can take it back to Walmart, get his $5 back after the battle because it is a cheap state. Get a Mark West battle league. Get up for the Mark West battle. All right, all right. That was a very heated first round, man. And now it's on Michael White. Shit, he just said what I was gonna say. Himself, man, the freak man in the building, man. Disco round, Corpus Christi, Texas, man. We in the building. XP, man, we gone.